Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! been almost a uh, whole year well it's been at least over winter anyway since we ended up getting as a YouTube community Hans his new house um, when I found out the conditions he was living in before we just really wanted to get him heat for the winter and ended up turning into a nice little property for him so today is the day that we go out and do an update video see how he's doing at his new place and how things have been for him and kind of get an idea of uh, where his life has gone since uh, that fateful day um, last year when uh, everybody grouped together to help the guy out. So let's go meet him, see what's new in Hans's world, and uh, see the house again. What you also might not know is that Hans lives just minutes away from this stunning national park here in Canada. And uh, it's a beautiful place to come down. We come down with our family here every once in a while. Um, so he's got a very good spot. I think I'm just gonna take in the view for a little bit while I'm here. Well, enough sightseeing for me. I've got to go up and see our friend here because we're just about time where we're supposed to meet. Before we go see Hanzo, I do want to see where his old property was. I feel like there's been some changes. Like, I appreciate everything you know, my followers and Alex's followers are doing for me. And I'm like shocked. I still have been like, I just don't understand I know. what's going on. Isn't it crazy and so amazing how many people out there were so nice and, uh, you know, they want to take care of the Viking. When I first pulled up here last year, there was burnt out remnants of a trailer over here. His little dilapidated pull behind trailer he was living in was over there and there were some piles of scrap and things and it looks like he's done a lot of work getting it all cleaned up I'm sure the town's happy about that too surprising just how different things look it looks like there's a lot of activity on the street where his house is When we last checked in, they were just talking about putting in a swimming pool across the street. And from the looks of things, they've been quite busy. All the trailers are here. And they've got this brand new structure, which is probably really good for him. Property value probably went way up because he's so close to these nice amenities now. Well, there's Hans's little house there. He said he's been out busy working quite a bit the past couple weeks and we've had rain like crazy. Hey! Hey Hans! Hey! God, what's this? You catch me eating food, bud! <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a little helper with you now. Who's yeah, the pooch? Got the little dog, Sunshine. Looks sunshine. Like your dog. Oh yeah. Hey, Sunshine. So, 
Caught you, caught you at I breakfast got time. I stump out of here now. I can cut the grass a little easier here. Oh yeah. I have... whipped my new stump grinder so it's ground level and a little bit below actually. So you've been you've been keeping pretty busy oh, from what I hear. Too busy. Well, that's not but, such a bad know, thing. But you know, that's not a bad thing either. It keeps the guy out of trouble and it keeps everything else away from... Uh, and I always appreciate that. But and you've hard to get your own stuff done. But you've expanded your uh, tree trimming business and you're doing stump grinding now too. Yeah, I used to rent a machine, but now I have my own. Do you have it here or is it... Yeah, actually it's in the back of the truck. Oh sure, yeah, let's have a look at it. And actually I have stump grinding job to do after I get my lawn done. So. Okay, so today is... Uh mowing the lawn getting things done and clean her up because as you can tell not that i meant to be uh neglecting in my yard because i have wonderful neighbors it just makes it hard to do well it was raining the last two weeks straight basically that so too yeah you can hear everybody's out there mowing their grass today today's the day for it but let's check out your new machine um, yeah the truck definitely looks like an upgrade from your old one too oh well, this is the new stump grinder that we acquired Fancy, fancy. So, and, uh, is it brand spanking new or was? That yeah, this is on. We ground out uh, my stump at the front. Plus, we done some stumps for Sonovia. We actually haven't had it on. Well, due to the rain, we haven't had it out on a job yet. But I do have lots of work for it. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. Here comes the boss now. Uh oh, there's trouble. <laughs> so that's. That's not the only thing that's changed in your life since we were here last. I mean, you got the house and it's all done up. I guess we'll go inside in a little bit, but uh, you and Zenobia now, how long have you two been together for now? Eight months. Eight months? Well, not quite. We've known each other eight months. Um, we've been dating, what, since February? January? Well, February. Yeah, maybe January. So that's... I can't remember when. That's See, seven, seven months. What month is it? July, <laughs> seventh month. <laughs> he got you on that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk away. Now. <laughs> just slowly do this. <laughs> I gotta go in the house. I got a short person in there. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, I like this. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's one of our, uh, one of the viewers sent that to you, yeah, I think, right? I appreciate that so much. I mean, that's the, the perfect little picture. Well, and you guys are babysitting. You didn't, in the last seven months, you haven't had a baby. <laughs> well, you never know. We might have adopted or something. <laughs> there well, you go. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's nice to see this little house has so much life in it. You know, you guys are here. You're happy. You've got a proper bed now. Yeah, a real proper bed. It's a queen size, not a... Like a, not the little one that he had at the beginning. He's got a new one. Well, and when when you first got the place, I remember that we we gave you the couch, Melissa yeah, and I, I and, and you didn't have a bed yet, but you weren't used to sleeping on a bed, so you slept on the floor the well, first yeah, few nights. No, it was. I definitely slept on the floor. It was more comfortable than. I mean, the couch was comfortable to sit in. But, but if you're not used to it. But yeah, I just uh, I was sleeping on the floor because I, it was harder. It was more firm. And my back didn't hurt so much after I got out of the bed. But the new bed's good. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Well, are you saying oh. we gave you an uncomfortable couch? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you a hard time. <laughs> and you gave him a really nice rug right now too, but it's outside right now. So well, it needed to be. Clean. I know it needs to be clean. Well, it looks like you got some neighbors coming up. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, I think yeah. we're through. Uh, I'm good with Earl Grey. Okay, good. Yeah. And it's believe it or not, decaf. No, not this one. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, I could use the caffeine this morning. We didn't sleep super great last night at the farm. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> hey, this is the honey I sell at my store. It is. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's I'll be, good. be using that in my tea. See, that, that should never have been this way. So you started digging around because the, the issue this house had was the foundation a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to rip this all out. Yeah and uh put in pressure treat or not pressure treated but i'm gonna go with uh rough cut lumber again which i have a friend that cut has a sawmill and he does that so i will be uh redoing this right to the living room so are you ripping the whole floor section. out like is the whole yeah, floor coming out? got it right out okay well i can see why you didn't do it over winter because then where would you where would you have to hang your hat right and yeah you know so they just have these big sort of beams going down there well, this beam is okay here. Yeah. 
but it's from this point up to here. We're going to level it and take it right across to the hot water tank. And then we can go and I don't know if I want to open it right up or if I want to kind of keep it. You mean make it like your, your Hans loft, like a uh, big open floor plan sort of idea? Yeah, I kind of do like an open yeah, okay. concept. So that might be something that I'm thinking about here real quick. But I know I want to take this wall out and go back into the bedroom because there's that dip in the floor yeah. that we uh, were talking about when we bought the place. But that will be fixed up and then I'll do this section, keep the support here. Then I'll get the kitchen part of it and put it all into the living room. Well, I'm sure that hasn't been too much fun diving down inside there, but... But I mean, it was real tight before, but now it's enough to go underneath and see what uh, was going on with the whole thing. And they put, uh, like I say, in the kitchen, that's the main reason why it drops, is that, well, this is it right here. They put this shim in, they done this here, and then they went to plain lumber, which is thinner than the rough cut. So, I mean, with all that stuff not being the same, and you got... Many problems. different levels. So they, they had a problem, they never fixed it properly. They just... That is the biggest thing. Okay, well, you're the right guy to fix so, it. We will get it done, and we'll have an update uh, as soon as we get a chance to get after my place. Hopefully a couple days a week or whatever would be very nice to... Well, yeah, well, I mean, you got side. you have work too. So I mean, when you're not busy cutting down uh, trees and and carpentry and all the rest of that stuff for other people. But... Yeah, I know it's always they always say a mechanic never has time to work on his own car, and a carpenter never has time <laughs> to work on his own house. That, that's about true. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> so that's what I've got done so far. We have actually found out why it's so unlevel. I mean, it's and then like I was right on it being sound, which it is. I mean, it's very solid. But it's just that it's uh, built on a different material. Now, Sonovia, what? what kind of tea do I generally drink? Ginseng and blueberry, or no, no, you drink whatever it is served. Well, I see the I see who the boss is around here. Oh, but you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> I got my day cut out for me. Stumps next door to that one. Uh, another stump across town. No. Char well, uh, my cousin Charlie, his mom wants a stump out. Uh, she's got two neighbors over there that wants, I think, one stump a piece out. That's all today? Yeah, try and get that all done. And then try and stop in at my mother's yesterday. Well, your machine's going to be half worn out by the day's over. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we won't even ask what happened to Zenobia's saw that he borrowed from you. <laughs> Hey, my son went and bought uh, new blades for me the other day because he seen me trying to use it. And he laughed. Oh yeah. And he went and bought me a new blade, and I was like, "Thank you, son." <laughs> so like, hey, it's all good. <laughs> you went down from uh, Victoria. Oh, the kids are good. It was nice to have the kids out for a week. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And well, yeah. It's hopefully we get some dry weather for a bit here too. Oh. It's just been. Oh. That's what I said to Hans. I says, "Whatever day is nice out, you got to go to work." <laughs> Yeah, so you trying to get him out of the house now? <laughs> no, it's, I usually go no. with them. So. Seven months is good enough now. You're like, yeah, you got to get out of the house. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> she is just the cutest little button. You yeah. just love her to pieces. In, until she's swinging from that beard of yours when you least uh, expect it. <laughs> that's okay, too. Here, you show them how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like your puppy there. Sunshine, that's the name? Oh, yeah, Sunshine. Yeah, boy, every, everybody's just all around. You're like the Cinderella out here. You've got the animals, you got the babies. I got the neighbors. You got Zenobia uh, here. Yeah, Zenobia, <laughs> she's the most important out of all of them, but. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Hans is princess. <laughs> Thanks, Sir <Uder. laughs> So a guy had a heart bypass and he yeah, called you up to and help? And he him? wanted to finish off his, the inside of his garage. I, so he calls me up. I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I said, it throws a figure at him, cheap figure. I figured two or three days I'd have the job done. So as I said, well, 600 bucks would be good. Uh, but it ended up costing him for my labor at a very reasonable rate for being that he's gone through all these problems, $425. Oh, so you, you cut the cost down. Yeah. yeah. Well, I bet he was happy. So 
Uh, he did phone me this morning and say, well, I got the money here at the house for you, but I said, well, I got all my stuff I got to try and get done, and then I still got other customers I got to try and get to. You haven't even collected the money yeah. yet? No. Yeah, well, I guess you don't want to give a guy a really high bill that's had a heart problem, because then he might grab his chest and... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't that want would that. be bad. It yeah. would be. Well, that was nice of you to take care of him. So, yeah, we got finished off yesterday. And, and then... Yeah. And your YouTube channel is going along pretty good? Uh, yeah, as far as I know, it's doing pretty, showing people what I do for uh, work and stuff, right? Well, and that's you're... generally what I usually do. I don't get much time to just sit down and relax. I just have to make time. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have it. Yeah, so you're, <laughs> are you helping out with that? I am. I, I, I help him at work, for one, but I do help him. I make him, I tell him he has to take some time for himself and do things because us, you've never taken any time off. Oh yeah. It's hard enough to get him to come to the house and to get stuff done here, which needs to be done, right? But he's, what he does is like what he said is he'll do with the money that he gets from YouTube and stuff, is that uh, the money that comes in, so if somebody does need help, right? Um, like can't afford to pay the whole thing, that part will help him, right? Oh, you guys are just giving right back to that community, aren't you? Well, so how do they, how do people find you on YouTube? What should they look for? Helping Hans. Helping Hans. Okay, you and got then, it here. Uh, and then you look for my silly mug. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> 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 so they should go on YouTube and find you, and then uh, you're using some of that revenue to uh, help other people who might that's, not be in need. Yeah. Well, that's really nice, guys. And it, it's, it's such a... It's such a nice thing to see you guys doing so well, and I appreciate you having me over for tea today, too. No problem. Always our pleasure, Alex. Hey, Alex. <laughs> Love you. Come back anytime you have free time. Okay. Uh, well. I might, <laughs> you got to vote first because I might not be around. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. It's always nice to visit with Hans. The house is looking good. It's very comfortable. And heck, it's practically beachfront property with a swimming pool right across the street. So thanks for watching today's episode, guys. Make sure to tune in for more. And check out Hans' channel too at Helping Hans on YouTube. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you all soon and bye for now.